Hello, I promise to come back to answer the second set of questions that had been sent to me. So uh, I'm very happy that you have joined me and I'll get right to it. Uh, the first question, or the 11th question, uh, that was sent uh, related to Nagorno-Karabakh, the conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan. And the question uh, from a Russian student was, what will NATO do in the event of a Nagorno-Karabakh conflict? Uh, the bottom line is, uh, we hope that that never happens. NATO has no intention, no plan of getting involved in a Nagorno-Karabakh conflict and we're not even involved in the peace process which is being led by, of course, the two presidents but also uh, the Russian Federation, the United States and France in something called the Minsk process. That being said, uh, I think there is concern amongst the allies at the state of the Minsk process. We heard from the two presidents here at NATO headquarters just in the last few weeks that they are committed to the process, they're committed to a peaceful resolution uh, to the Nagorno-Karabakh crisis. But uh, the reality is that the Minsk process has had some difficulties, uh, especially recently, uh, and that there is a lot of uh, worrying rhetoric between the two countries uh, and a lot of weapons being purchased by both countries. Uh, this is a region which uh, probably doesn't get as much attention as it deserves from the uh, international media. It is of critical strategic importance for reasons of its location, for reasons of its potential, uh, and for reasons of its energy uh, transit and supply role. So for many, many reasons, it's important that this uh, conflict be resolved in a peaceful way as soon as possible and respecting uh, the principles of international law. So we hope it will be solved, but to come back to the question uh, in its most pointed way. NATO is not involved in this crisis except to support the Minsk Group and a peaceful resolution.